welcome to The Alexandra Show. I'm Alexandra and I've been working as a stylist here at Stilisti for 12 years. I'm a master stylist and colorist and I also love working with extensions. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create this look that I've done on my hair using cashmere clip-in extensions and we'll talk a little bit about the custom coloring that gives you some versatility options with your hair and the wave that I created using my GHD iron. So welcome and let's get started. And so now I'm going in and clipping my hair up with my trusty butterfly clips. <laughs> I always like to do one section on top and then I start sectioning where I'm gonna start putting in the extensions. This is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray that I just sprayed at my root. And then I'm just putting a little tease right at the root for some extra security when the clips go in. Again, it just provides a little extra security so you can move and dance all night. So these are the extensions that I'm using. They're the Cashmere Hair Clip-In 20 inch extensions. So you just open up the clip, slide it in, clip it closed. And then I'm gonna go through and start curling it with my GHD iron. And as you can see, these extensions don't match my hair exactly. They kind of blend with it. But I had taken my uh, second set of cashmere extensions. They came in the ombre color. They're the 20 inch extensions that I'm obsessed with. And I colored them so that they have a little kind of peachy hue to them. And so it's a really fun way to incorporate fun kind of fashion colors into your hair without the commitment of actually having them in your hair forever. So I let down my hair and I'm taking another section. The first one was kind of right at my earlobe. The second one is about halfway up my ear or right at the top of my ear. That's where I kind of feel around and section is a good marker. And I'm doing the same technique, putting the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray at the root. It's really a fantastic spray. It can be used as a dry shampoo, but its original intention is a texturizing spray to create some really nice lift, volume, and hold. I'm teasing it at the root where the clips are going to go in. So same technique, clipping them in. On this section you'll see I'm overlapping or bricklaying the extensions. So in the very back there I'm actually clipping one extension into the other extension. And it's mimicking your natural hair texture in the sense that that is where our hair is the densest. Just kind of feeling around, making sure, again, the key to curling extensions is curling your hair with them. So as you can see, I'm holding a piece of my hair, a piece of the extension, curling it together, and that's what's gonna give you a seamless look because your hair is curling with the extension and making it look like it's all connected. And once in a while you'll see I kind of don't quite get the curl that I wanted to. It can be tricky when your extensions are really long. Also sometimes you just have to go back and recurl your hair separate from the extension so that the curl pattern uh, mimics and is you know, consistent the whole way through. So moving into the final section, 
I'm just gonna take kind of right above that temple area, a really skinny section, but once again, using the same technique, dry texturizing spray at the root, a little tease for some extra security, and then we'll clip them in. And this time, I am gonna put the clips on just a slight bit of an angle. And so there are the clips, like I said, super secure. You're gonna see me kind of feel around because now we're getting into a situation where there's lots of clips in there. So I'm kind of feeling around for a good spot to really situate the clip and get a good grip. And now we curl. Again, same technique. The key when you're curling um, any kind of hair, but definitely when you're doing your hair with extensions, is really to make sure that the section is clean in the sense that the hair is not tangled, that it's really nice and smoothed out, so that way the iron will glide through it really easily and just give you a smooth transition. All right, so now we're on to the final section. Again, even though I'm not clipping in any more extensions, I still wanna give that hair a little bit of a tease right at the root because it's gonna to help to camouflage any of the clips. And just going in and doing kind of that GHD classic wave with my iron, picking up sections. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I don't go too crazy about a part. I really like to let my hair live naturally where it wants to live that day. We all have calyx, you know, my hair's naturally curly and I have tons of calyx all around my hairline and wherever they want to go that day is where they're going to look the best. So as you can see, my hair wants to do a little bit more of a exaggerated side part and so I'm going to, I'm going to let it go ahead and do that. So this is also an Orbit product, the split and seal. Just using my fingers to separate the curls a little bit. And then again, definitely getting those little baby hairs around your face. As you can see, just using a brush, any kind of paddle brush will do, kind of hanging onto your hair. It's not gonna pull the extensions out, but it just is a little more comfortable if you hold onto the clips in some of those areas. So this is a product from R & Co, Trophy, or as I like to call it, Trophy Wife. So I like to spray the trophy up into my hair. So I'll kind of mist it on the top and then spray it up in, and then really just use your fingers to work it around, blend it in. So this is my final look using my 20 inch cashmere hair clip in extensions. I got them in the color ombre and then I custom colored them so they have a little peach flare, which is a really fantastic way to add length and fun color to your hair without a commitment. If you like my tutorial, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you can follow along at www.thealexandrashow.com. There'll be a link right here in the video. You can also follow me on Instagram at The Real Alexandra Show. See you guys around.